Hello everybody, bonjour, comment ça va? And welcome back to my channel. My name is Lazius K and I talk about the practical usage of VR. Today is season one, episode four. Thank you very much for watching and for all your support. Today we're going to talk about how we can use VR to boost our confidence when getting ready to give a talk or to give a speech at a conference, at a seminar or in a meeting and also to prepare for job interviews. Alright, so today we're going to look at an app called Virtual Speech, one of the leading apps for people who want to practice how to enhance their skills uh, in giving speeches and talks and also preparing for job interviews because it's really not easy to put yourself out there, you know, being open for criticism, being judged. A lot of us are introverted or we get very nervous and, and we need to learn how to get used to it. So some people do it in front of the mirror, other people close their eyes and do meditation like a visualization technique where they imagine themselves in that space, but there's nothing like doing this in VR because there are people there, you're in a real room and you're truly, really immersed. All right, without further ado, let's jump into VR. Okay, so we're now back into the Oculus and I'm going to give you a very high level introduction to this app here, which is virtual speech. So virtual speech really helps people to prepare for speeches, for conferences or seminars or in classrooms. And also, of course, for job interviews and really getting used to putting yourself out there, because as I mentioned before, it's pretty difficult to, you know, to, to be open to criticism and to be judged by people. It's one of the hardest things you could possibly do. So once you're in the app, um, there's some really nice music that's, let me just turn it down a little bit. Really nice music here that is very uplifting. And so I'm going to introduce you the free version of this app because there are a lot more tools available upon purchase of things. So one of the things that they provide is different rooms that you can actually train. So there are four rooms in total that are free. The other thing that they provide is slides, progress and recording. So if you purchase certain things, you will be able to gain access to specific analytics. For example, if you're looking at people in the eye, if your voice is, uh, reflects confidence and if people are really are engaged with, your, with the way you communicate, which I think is really, really cool. The other thing you can do is you can upload your own presentations to practice with here. And I will show you how to do that in about two, three minutes time. It's very easy. You basically just drag and drop things in. You can also, with the premium version, you can also record yourself in VR whilst you're practicing and then rewatch it, which I think is really great because it's a great way for you to see your mistakes and see how you can potentially improve. And then they also have some gamifications which I think is good fun. Uh, for example, use the app for one hour, it opens up something. You visit here more often, it opens up something. Master communicator means if you use the app for three hours, it will open something. Now, I'm not quite sure what happens after you unlock all of them. Perhaps they give some things, um, I'm, I don't know, but anyway, it's quite nice to have it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into one of the rooms and I will show you what it's like. So let's first look at, you know, what is it like to prepare for a job interview? So when you go in, uh, you'll be greeted with this panel and you can see there are four people there and there's a clock here. So you click on begin and then you'll be given a choice of companies which you can be interviewed by. Now, depending on the one you choose, it will always be the same room with the same people, but the questions will be different. So for example, let's uh, let's go with Tesla. Why do you want to work for Tesla and not BMW or Mercedes-Benz? So let me just uh, repeat this. 
Why do you want to work for Tesla and not BMW? Why do you want to work for Tesla and not BMW or Mercedes Benz? So this is a really interesting question because you will be asked these type of questions when you go and meet a potential employer. Um, let, let's see what other questions there are. So, for example, for Google, uh, for Apple, sorry. Why do you want to work at Apple? Okay, so end of question. So again, I, I mean, personally, it, I can, I feel a little bit uneasy because I really feel like I am in the room. Uh, my only comment would be that perhaps the graphics could be a little bit more sharp. Perhaps in their next um, update, they will be able to fix these kind of things. But again, I really do feel immersed and it's much better for me to practice here than it would be in front of the mirror. All right, let's exit this room. I'm going to show you another one. Let's go to conference. So it will load just now. Okay, there we go. So the first thing that you, you can see is that we are in a complete different kind of room. It's more of a conference with theater style sitting. And there's a laptop there on my right with a phone and there's a comfort monitor below. Now on the comfort monitor is actually my custom presentation of Creative Friends Asia, which is a company I used to run uh, before. And um, so I can basically change the slides by clicking on next. So it takes, depending on your Wi-Fi connection, if it's very fast, it will be instantaneous. If not, uh, it might take a second or I can go back to the previous one. And if I look backwards, hope I'm not going too fast. You also see a giant screen there for everyone to see. And if I click on it, it will change slides as well. Okay. Again, if you're in the premium version, you will know uh, how the people will be engaged with you. So the more confidence you have, the more engaging you are, the more you look at them in the eye, you'll be able to access all these stats. And also the people sitting down will be able to react to your presentation. So for example, okay, let me practice now. Hi everybody, good afternoon. Thank you for being here today. I'd like to talk to you about Creative Friends Asia. Uh, one of Asia's leading communities, bridging creatives with brands who have projects on offer. End of presentation. What happens in your mind is there's literally like a, a, an on and off switch. So you, you switch modes into presentation and you really feel like you're here. My only comment about this, similarly to the other room is, it feels like I took my glasses off and things aren't so sharp. I mean, generally when I do a presentation, I take my glasses off anyway because it makes me feel more comfortable. But when I'm doing a practice run, I do wish things to be as, as real as possible. And I think they, they do need to touch up a little bit on the sharpness. Okay, let's look at another room. So another room that's a bit more casual will be this room, the meeting room. So in this room, you can imagine that you're either a colleague of theirs <clears throat> or you're a senior manager. And again, your slides will be here on the left hand side and you can go next or previous slide. And then in the in the paid version, again, the people in the scene will react to you and you'll be able to see the analytics um, based on your confidence and eye level and all these kind of things. So again, I really feel like I'm here. I really feel like I'm actually talking to these people. Uh, there's something about this room um, or this app that, that really helps me to gain more confidence. Okay, let's look at the final room now, which is the training delivery. So the training delivery feels more like a classroom. Uh, here again on my left is the PowerPoint slides, which I'll show you in a couple minutes how to upload your own slides. Of course, the aim of this um, exercise is that basically when you pay for a specific training courses, eventually, and I mean, even without the paid, the whole point is that you don't look at your slides, is that everything is in your mind, you know what you're talking about, you know how you're talking about it, and you know what to say. And then in the, in the paid version, you'll be able to get all the analytics. All right, so I've given you a very high level of uh, this app. And again, I'm really impressed with the fact that they have the ability to 
purchase uh, various courses that can enable you to enhance your ability, your skill set to give public speaking or job interviews or uh, networking as well. They also have an app for networking where you actually go to, which is here, business networking, uh, where you actually go to, to a VR business networking uh, workshop and you get to practice how to network with people in VR. And I think this is really great because there's so many people who are really afraid or who are shy or who are introverted or who maybe are extroverted, but they're not sure how to really interact with people in those kind of situations. So this really provides you the ability to train. So this is really, really cool. Really cool app and look forward to their future updates. All right, let's uh, leave Oculus now and um, go back into the real world. Let's go. Okay, so now we're in the PC. Remember to pair your Oculus uh, app to the Oculus headset and you're switched off the developer mode. This is very important because after you plug in your headset into the PC, you have to have a notification in the headset to say, allow the PC to communicate with the headset. Uh, all right, so if you don't know how to do that, please follow the previous video that I did. Okay, so uh, once uh, the headset is paired, you simply go to the uh, icon, which uh, the VR headset here, then you go inside, and then you'll see all these different folders here. Now, all you have to do, let me delete this, you actually have to create a virtual speech uh, folder. That's all that you have to do. Because by default, this virtual speech uh, folder will not be there. So you just create new folder. Now you must type like this virtual with a capital V and speech with a capital S and no space between virtual and speech. Do not put a space, okay? If you put a space like this, it won't work. The app inside Oculus will not recognize it, okay? Then you just click open. Uh, go and find the file. Now the file that you need to actually put uh, will have to be a PDF. So you put the PDF in, boom, you're done. That's it. Nothing else to do. Now you can go into your Oculus, open virtual speech. And when you go into the rooms, as I just showed, you'll be able to then select whatever file you want to use to practice with. All right, that's it. Remember to like and subscribe. Today we spoke about how we can use VR in order to provide more confidence when practicing to do public speaking or getting ready for a job interview. I have only spoken about the free version of the app. And as I mentioned before, I have contacted the uh, developers to see if they'd be willing to provide me a demo of the premium version, then I'll do a separate video on that. Remember to comment below. Let me know if this video has helped you. Oh, and by the way, what subjects would you like me to talk about? I'd be and very happy to hear what kind of ideas you may have, then I can do videos for those as well and you know help you guys and the community more too. All right, until next time, take it easy and cue music.